Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today I wanted to show you the new 1.4 update for the Palm Pre and Palm Pixie. Um, and also these are the Plus models on Verizon. And I uh, thought we would, would take a look at that and, and show you what that's all about. Um, as you can see right here, I'm just going to hit on the major points of the update. But uh, as you can see right here, you're going to watch this. This will flash. That's one of the updates. It lets you know you have a notification when your screen is dark. Um, there are many different significant updates, or at least I think significant, um, that, that will benefit someone that has a Pre or Pixie. So we'll go ahead and turn that on, and you can see uh, it's telling me I'm unable to sign into one of my email accounts, so we'll just throw that off the screen. First of all, let me tell you, overall use um, seems to be a little bit quicker. Uh, changing different programs, bringing things up, swiping, feels a little bit more responsive, a little bit uh, more like it should, like on an iPhone. Uh, some there's, there's some lag occasionally, but just if you watch, I move my finger here and I'll just scroll. You can see it's a little bit jumpy, not quite as smooth as the iPhone, um, but better than before from my experience coming from the, uh, I believe it's 1.3.2. Five or something like that, the last update. Uh, what you can see here is they've changed the camera icon, and like I said, we're going to hit on the major points. Um, they've done a lot of little tweaks uh, to things like time zone, um, a uh, uh, SMS, things like that, and I can hit on those a little bit, but uh, for me, the major update on this, there's two. Uh, the camera is now a video camera. It's a much needed uh, update to this. And to get to the video camera, you open the camera, and right here you have a button uh, that's got a video camera. So instead of just taking a picture, hit that, and it says rotate before recording. We rotate, and then we tap to record. And now we're recording. That's all there is to it. Simple, like an iPhone. And you can see I'm recording that. When I wanna stop it, I hit stop and it brings this up. Uh, we've got our, just like an iPhone or the, or the picture, we tap that. It'll open another window that will show us our video and we'll go ahead and play it back for a second. So you can see, very simple, uh, very nice, and uh, just like WebOS, everything else. We throw that off the screen and it's closed. Uh, one of the other things, uh, just I noticed, is here this used to say EV for EVDO. They've changed that to 3G. They've also made some other significant things. Uh, dial from within a, a, a meeting event, allow custom alert sounds. There's different things with embedded phone numbers and email addresses within email. There's an ability to forward your SMS messages and the ability to dial a phone number from SMS chat. Lots of different things. Um, you can press and hold to get phone more options in SMS. Um, there's an easier interface for the app launcher um, that they say, I'm not really sure uh, specifically what they're talking about, um, but the big, big update for this is the support of Flash. Uh, it's not yet on the App Store. Supposedly it's going to be in beta. I looked at Adobe site. It's not on here. When you go to a Flash website, it doesn't work yet. But it isn't. It, it, it's going to be available in beta. I've signed up. It's not available yet, um, which that's a huge update for, for any smartphone uh, to be able to play Flash games and things. Now, as far as the Pixie goes, the Pixie also gets video recording. And we'll go ahead. And I, I do seem to notice improved battery life. Uh, this has not been plugged in for a few hours, and it's still uh, near 100%, 96%, which is, is very different when it's trying to grab all the data. So again, in here, we also have video recording. A changed icon here. I'll let that refocus a little bit. Changed icon. Um, and there we go. You can see it's a little bit choppier. This is a, this, the quality of this camera is not as good as the Pre's. Uh, this is a 2 megapixel. The Pre is a... Uh, three megapixel uh, but it does a, a good job the microphone seems to pick up fairly well and again it's the same deal hit the button uh, hit hit to record or switch to video mode there we go and we do record same thing works just as well and you can actually send these off to different uh, social services such as um, uh, YouTube and, and Flickr and that sort of thing. They've integrated some of that a little bit better. And uh, what they've done is videos move down to the bottom by itself, and that's where your videos go that you've recorded uh, within the phone. So if you open this up, you've got a video roll. 
uh, we go into the video and again uh, we've got options down here if we tap this we can upload to YouTube Facebook share via email or share via MMS so they've included pretty much everything you'd get on an iPhone or or Android obviously there's there's more things you can do with different uh, products but overall I think it's a pretty good update uh, very very uh, very good as far as battery life for me anyway in my experience email seems a little bit quicker uh, but overall, you know, the video recording is huge and the flash support is huge. We'll have to wait for that to come out. Um, if you have any questions that I haven't answered or that you'd like to see, uh, please feel free to ask and I'll try and record those for you. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.